Well, at least it's not raining. Kodiak cakes. Protein packed flapjack and waffle mix. And the macros on these, pretty good. So they are protein packed. You got two fat, 30 carb, five grams of fiber, and 14 grams of protein per serving. And we picked these up at Target. I make so like she makes four small, small ones. Cause I feel like I'm eating more than, you know? I'm a big fan of like one huge pancake or two medium sized ones. What's going on on the stove? I'm making you scrambled eggs and I'm boiling you water for oatmeal. Is this the, this my oatmeal right here? Yeah, it's so good. What flavor is this again? Chocolate yum. Chocolate yum. And Brittany has patience. Someone asked in a comment, does Brittany like to cook or is she a good cook? Yeah, she's a very good cook and she enjoys cooking. Me, this all would have been in the microwave and would have been done in 30 seconds. But since I'm not the one cooking, I know it tastes better when you actually cook it and when it comes from the heart, right? That's right. Love. So how are they? Fluffy as you said. See, let's get a close up and I know of whatever's some. left. Cholula chipotle sauce on there and it's unbelievably delicious so eggs first oatmeal after if you cook them both at the same time two hot foods then you got to choose which one you want to eat cold so cold eggs not really my thing thank you babe you're welcome what a crazy day it's been so far raining in the morning now it's sunny and beautiful a bit windy but no big deal out here got the laptop doing some work responding to some YouTube comments on my previous video talking about building bigger biceps. So thank you guys for the support on that video. Um, really, really great feedback on that. And I will be doing a lot more after hours, you know, gym and exercise tutorial videos. I really enjoy doing that. What is that? I'm two for two today. Diet soda, triple Damn. decker. It's chicken, a little bit of honey mustard, lettuce, tomato, and onion, and one slice of the provolone cheese. And the bread's toasted. You mm -hmm. cooked two out of two of my meals today. I don't <laughs> Thank you very I'm much. Practicing. We only have five months. What are you doing? <laughs> Trying to take a picture for uh, Snapchat. So. Shameless plug, if you guys aren't following me on Snapchat, I put some pretty funny stories up there, and I think I got a good one. Yes, Tell them how good my sandwich much. making skills are. Very good, and I almost wish I had another one. All right, so we're off to the gym. I'm getting my sour fix right now, so no Sour Patch Kids for me today. They just have, too, in my opinion, too many carbs for the amount of volume that you get. And I picked up a box of 20 of them from the dollar store. And this is a sour version, which I didn't know they actually had. It's super sour, it's almost sour. too sour. So if you've ever had if you ever made your own pre-workout before and had citrulline malate, and you know that sour taste you get, that's actually what this tastes like. So it's nothing like the sour from a Sour Patch Kid, but it's only 20 calories for the ice pop, so you get your little sweet fix. You also have regular, so you don't have to get just sour, but... We got I'm explaining this as if no one was a kid and they never had these before. I know, right? Anyway, have this, got my pre-workout right here, and then we're gonna hit up the gym and meet up with... I have two pairs of headphones around my neck. The white pair is actually for, for Brittany's sister, sister, Taylor, and her boyfriend, Connor. So we're gonna go meet them at the gym for, we're doing push, not too sure what they're doing yet. I think they are But too. we'll film what we can for you guys. So we'll see you when we get to the gym. Wait, can push. you grab that? Leave it on or? No. Welcome back everybody. We're here for a late night commentary and I just want to talk to you guys about what's been going on in the gym with my training, with Brittany's training. You know, we make these videos and I haven't really been explaining to you guys too much exactly what I'm doing and that's a very common question that I get. People want to know 
what split I'm on, how many sets and reps I'm doing for each exercise. And I've told you guys this before because I'm 100% honest on this channel, is that I've been going into the gym and really just having some fun with my training. Now I go in there with the intention of doing specific lifts. So for instance, what you're watching right now was push day. So I knew I wanted to hit some chest, some shoulders and some triceps, but I wasn't going in with specific structure. and. I don't think everyone needs to do that, but for me personally, it helps keep me on track with everything. And as an online coach working with clients, I create workout programs for them and it holds them accountable. They know that I'm checking in on them, they're checking in with me, letting me know how they're doing, whether or not they're making progress. And I just wanna take things a bit more serious with my own training. And I don't mean serious as far as not laughing. You see Brittany laughing here. We like to have a great time in the gym, but I'm the kind of person who just does better with some sort of journal, whether it's pen and paper in the gym or using my smartphone to track my sets and reps and the exercises that I'm doing. And it's also good for you guys because I wanna share with you what I'm doing in the gym, the exercises, the sets, the reps, and why I'm doing it. So this is an exercise you've probably never seen me do in the four years that I've been on YouTube. And this is a behind the neck Smith machine press. And if you couldn't already tell, I'm very open-minded when it comes to my training. I'm always willing to try out something new and experiment with different exercises. And what's cool about that is I get to share that experience with you guys. And if you're one of those people who just likes to stick to the very basic movements and you think all of this is unnecessary, I respect that a hundred percent but I've learned a lot in my years of training and I think it's cool to try out new things see what works best for your body your leverages you know there are some people who do conventional deadlifts and have never tried sumo and the second they try sumo it's like a whole new world or just doing a different movement with a lateral raise can completely change the way it feels so I'm willing to try out a whole bunch of new exercises so I can share that with you guys give you some feedback and recommendations and make your training more effective and more enjoyable you had more. Yeah, All right, right here. I'm gonna go for max reps. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm exhausted already, though. I should have probably taken more rest. Fuck it. Wait a second. 15. What? All right, so we finished off our pressing with that AMRAP set, and then we hit some lateral raises, which we did not film, and ended off with some tricep press downs, which is what you see here. So that's pretty much going to conclude this commentary. I just wanna remind you guys again, as I've mentioned in previous videos, the NASM, or the National Academy of Sports Medicine, are still looking for personal trainers who are passionate about fitness, and they're offering you a free two-week trial to get started. So if you're interested in that, there is a link in the description box below, www.myusatrainer.com slash Maddie. You could sign up there and get your free 14 days. So that's going to conclude this video. Thank you guys as always for watching. In case you missed the previous video where I talk about how to build bigger biceps, it's playing right there on the screen. So you can click that to open it up in a new window. If you wanna sign up for my free VIP list or apply for my online coaching, you can click either of those two boxes. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so before you go. So thanks again, guys, and we'll talk to you all in the next video.